the defecation situation and needed to use her bathroom, but the judge in the case found he had a sexual motive. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, carry on, Hillary. <laughs> yeah, just I as think you I'm would. having one myself. <laughs> <laughs> because this next story is so tragic, I cannot be laughing. Right. Investigators believe a bomb caused the explosion on a plane which has just taken off from the Somali capital of Mogadishu. The blast blew a hole in the side of the plane and one of the 74 passengers on board was sucked out, which is terrible. <laughs> and I'm not laughing at that. As the plane was at relatively low altitude, there was no violent decompression and it held together. No one is responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Today could be the day I lose my job. <laughs> There's apparently they're the most popular creatures right now. This oh, time of year, that, beaver that, breeding. Those little guys are cute and cuddly looking. The beavers I've seen are bigger and uh, not. Yeah, and, and they don't look as friendly. So <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I've seen my beavers in the wrong place. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yes, yeah, weather time. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah, let's, yeah. this afternoon, not too bad. Uh, uh, temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Let's go to the maps. There we go. 56 this afternoon in Tulsa, 62 down toward uh, McAllister. Uh, the next seven days looks pretty rainy uh, for Saturday. Another good chance of rain on Monday. Cold gear uh, for Saturday. You couldn't just take it with weather. <laughs> I can't see him crying. Anyway, anyway, well, today <laughs> today therapy dogs will be sworn in at the Rogers County Courthouse. They will. We will let you know how they will work to help crime victims and children inside courtrooms. A British man who took on a goat's eye view of the world has been rewarded for his efforts. Because we're all completely trapped inside our own brain and our own perception of the world. Well, I can't make this stuff up. Thomas Thwaites had a set of prosthetic legs built and spent three days living among goats in the Alps. He did it because he, <laughs> he wanted a simpler life. <laughs> and he says it was fascinating. A little bizarre though. Thwaites co-won an IG Nobel Prize for biology with another man who tried living as several different animals. <laughs> The IG Nobel Awards honor research that may seem bizarre <laughs> or amusing, but actually provokes thought. Kevin <laughs> Don't watch the video. You try and read the script. <laughs> I need a Kleenex. You <laughs> guys. Okay, when two clowns crashed. It was a <laughs> no laughing matter. And no, it was not part of their act. The two elderly men crashed their minivan on their way to the local fair. The driver, 83-year-old James Billingsley, <laughs> a.k.a. Dimples the Clown, collided. <laughs> he missed the entrance, but when he tried to make a U-turn, he slammed right into an SUV. They're okay. Police say Dimples was wearing <laughs> oversized clown shoes. But police <laughs> say... <laughs> that they did not play a role in the crash. <laughs> <laughs> Brian has been laughing for the past two minutes now. I can't believe you made it through that story. <laughs> and nobody oh. was helping me. No, no, we were actually oh. we, worse for wear laughing, on that one. Oh, laughing. Man. That Sorry, Roxanne. That got should through. be part of their act, though. I'm thinking. <laughs> my shoes are my, driving. I need some big clown shoes tomorrow. <laughs> Keep <laughs> you dry from the rain. <laughs> wow. Bye, man. Μπορεί η κούρση στα χίτα. Μπορεί η κούρση στα χίτα στο υποδρόμο να μας μαγεύει. Μπορεί η κούρση στα χίτα στο υποδρόμο να μας μαγεύουν. Ωστόσο υπάρχουν και άλλα ιδιαγόνων με πρωταγωνιστές τα άλογα. Λοιπόν, μπορεί οι κούρσες ταχύτητας του υποδρόμου να μας μαγεύουν. Ωστόσο υπάρχουν κι άλλα ιδιαγόνων. <laughs> 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 
Μπορεί οι κούρσε ταχύτητα του υποδρόμου να μα μαγεύουν. Ωστόσο υπάρχουν κι άλλα ήδη. Τα θέλω αυτά. Σήμερα θα μιλήσουμε για τον τρεσάζ, δηλαδή την υπηκή δεξιοτεχνία. Καλά, καλά. Έλα ρε Φράγκη. Σήμερα θα μιλήσουμε... Μπορεί οι κούρσες ταχύτητας του υποδρόμου... <laughs> Σήμερα θα μιλήσουμε για τον τρεσάζ. <laughs> θα μου φάει τα αυτή. <laughs> Σήμερα θα μιλήσουμε για τον τρεσάζ. <laughs> Την υπηκή δεξιότητα. Αυτό μου λείπει τώρα, ναι. Μπορεί οι κούρσες ταχύτητας του υποδρόμου να μας συναρπάζουν. Σήμερα θα μιλήσουμε για τον τρεσάζ, την υπηκή δεξιοτεχνία. Θα τραβήξεις την υπηκή δεξιοτεχνία. And I'm not going to do it, because I shouldn't do this, right, Grandmaster? No. Okay, Grandmaster Bruce Silva here. There's a big demonstration that's coming up next week, Saturday, but for now we have a sneak peek. So we're going to start right over here, is that right? Yes. Okay. 21.2 pounds. That's the brick right there? Right. Okay. And why, why the glass? I'm going to break that concrete slab with that glass without breaking the glass. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. That's incredible. Wait, no, and to be honest, I actually felt these bricks. These are real bricks. I mean, there's, there's no joke. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Check it out, baby. Guns. Guns. How the hell did you do that? Oh, my God. That's right. I busted okay, with this. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It was my, it was I'm my sorry. Record. <laughs> okay. So we have. Okay, what is this over here? This is 110 pounds. Okay. With the head. Okay, go for it. Don't touch it. I won't touch it. <laughs> All right. You know what, either way, that was impressive. That was good job, good job. Okay, so um, lots of discipline goes <laughs> into martial yes. arts. <laughs> yes, it okay. does. Okay, okay, um, and it's not just you. There's going to be a, <laughs> a big demonstration from other schools, right? Yes. Okay. Right, yes. <laughs> I, I got Dixon Taekwondo coming. Okay. Yeah, okay. Master so this Dixon. is uh, no. <laughs> Saturday, April 30th, by the way. Give us the info. Um, Saturday, April 30th, I'm going to do, well, I'm going to try to do nine world records. And um, this is the first time I'm going to do this and get on Guinness Book of Records. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Grandmaster. We appreciate Thank your time. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. You're watching Sunrise. <laughs> and now we want to focus on part of the fire that many of you have asked about. One woman named... <laughs> <laughs> NBC 10 figured we should put together a few tips from the experts to help protect yourself should you come across a curious bear. According to experts, you should avoid direct eye contact with the bear. Don't run away. Instead, back off slowly. Wave your arms to let the animal know you're human. Don't yell. Stay quiet unless the bear attacks. Then scream and throw things at the bear. If the bear attacks, curl up into a ball on your side or lay flat on your stomach. And above all, stay calm. Oh, we, <laughs> we got Mr. Sam, Mr. Sam, just like that. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> Can we talk about 72? Today, for your high temperature, 74 
you tomorrow. And temperature is hitting the upper 70s for the rest of the week. It looks great weather-wise. All right. <laughs> Thanks. And thank you for watching you this tomorrow. with it. Hopefully, hopefully we still have a job. <laughs> have a good day. Because, uh, again, that's been the focus with all that rain over there. The shift has been to the north. North of I-10 is where the heaviest of rain is in Mississippi. M I crooked letter, crooked letter, I crooked letter, crooked letter, I humpback, humpback, I. That's how you remember how to spell Mississippi. Uh, 45 miles an hour, pressure is 983. <laughs> oh, man. MISSIS, IPPI. What's wrong with you that? Did the whole... <laughs> you did the crooked letter. <laughs> oh, man, that goes back. All right. Oh, I got the giggles. <laughs> My goodness, what is wrong with you? <laughs> and just in case you're thinking, oh, well, I can't make it to tomorrow's audition, I'll just stop at another one of the Northeast stops. There isn't one. This is the last stop of the Northeast in this tour. So I got to thinking, I had a chance to meet a huge L.A. and New York City producer today, and I had absolutely no skills to show him. I don't dance and I don't sing, but I do do gymnastics. So I thought to the producers watching at home tonight, how about a news reporter that does the news while she's walking on her hands? Here in Providence, Julie Tremel, NBC 10 News, The Night Team. That's Julie for you. Later, dance triple sow cow. Stay tuned. <laughs> I think Julie better keep her night job. All right. Moving along, supersized security at the Super Bowl. Let's uh, check in with Matt Odstott now, who's trying to be safe with trying, some firefighters. Trying. Thankfully, the firefighters are there. He's around firefighters, still talking about food, though. Mm -hmm. What a surprise. Uh, you're only half right. Most of the guys are just getting That's back fine. in. They got sent out yeah. on an emergency, you know, trouble breathing call here about 20 minutes ago. They're, so they left so you in the firehouse by, by yourself? By yourself cooking. So, well, George is here supervising, you but have the run much the like place? we like to do here on Casey Sunrise, <laughs> we've, made, we've made firehouse breakfast a few times before serious? in years past. What? We're all by ourselves here. Yeah, we've got the run of the firehouse. Wow, ah. and you're still in the kitchen? Get on that pole. <laughs> Excuse me? What? Is, is this some sort of a birthday <laughs> wish? Oh, Matt Outstott on the pole. Wow. Birthday time. Down the yeah. pole. Bring out, bring out your uh, lollipops right, right. because we're gonna, we're gonna see if you like it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so this weekend is the extreme lolly lickathon. Mm -hmm. These are lollipops that are over a million Scoville, which is 200 times hotter than a jalapeno. And the winner of the lickathon gets this amazing Gene, trophy as well as a milk. beautiful hot sauce prize pack. Are you kidding? Did you just put it? Yeah. Are you kidding? Is that bad? No. How y'all doing over there? Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, Ruben, <laughs> might I throw up before the end of the next 15. You know, no, no, I'll, I'll see you later. Bye, guys. I'll see you at the hot sauce festival. Bye. You're going to see me in the ER here pretty soon if this keeps up. I'm just going to put this down. I did one. I just tapped it on the tongue. I can only I imagine realize. what you're going through. Yeah. No, what was, that's awful. You went right for it, too. Daytona Beach, the Cape Canaveral area of Vero Beach, will be getting in on the heavier rainfall, and eventually I should can. I am so sorry, Bill. Oh my God! This is what just happened. That thing was crawling on my leg. <laughs> oh God, if that. Oh my God! Right at the wall for me. Oh. Oh. I woke up to a frozen toilet today. What? I did. I had a frozen toilet. I had to pull out the old uh, hair dryer. You've got to be kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. serious. I'm, I'm completely serious. And spare? I woke up, did my business, I flushed, it went down, and nothing came back up. It didn't refill. I worked on it. I just figured finally that... The pipes have frozen overnight. Wow. How about that? Did you not leave a dripping faucet? I don't know. Well, no. Things? I mean, the faucets were fine, but how do you leave a dripping toilet? I guess you gotta. Oh, <laughs> you know, no. Ooh. Start, you huh. know. That's not one I've heard of. Me so. either. I know. It could only happen to you. It could only happen to me. Yes. Normally, I wake up in the middle of the night. I go once or twice, and so I could have flushed it. And, but last night, well, I was sleeping like a rock. Well, it is TMI. TMI. Yeah. But I just slept like it's a rock Monday. last night and uh, well, getting over a cold you. and just, uh, yeah. 
Well, I'm glad. Awesome. Uh, Good yeah. for you, Evan. You All right. Hair dryer. It works. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> Oh, they're telling me I got to go. I want to show you. Here's the Belo building, and then I'm going to go in and see if we can see our bosses working in there. It's, it has to focus, but I'm going to show you. You can see pretty close inside these windows. If we can get this to focus really quick to show you, maybe we'll show this. We're almost to nine. It's starting to focus in right now. Here we go. <laughs> this gives you some in ten. You can see folks they're driving to work. I'm you can see people 11. walking to work oh, across the street. Yeah. We're going to speak to some folks who have made this happen. Well, we'll uh, again. Opens this weekend. It's called Geo Deck. It John. puts you 470 feet in the air. Okay. I know I got a wrap. I'm gonna take it back to you. We'll to I'm gonna okay. go back to the camera. We have See reached uh, walking around it this early in the morning. We've had a historic mo moment here today. Every time uh, Sean gets the wrap and she doesn't wrap, uh, Ron starts to do laps. That was a record breaker. This morning we have broken 15. a record. Can we get it on the leaderboard? 15, right, DLC? You have a victory song.